Hey, Milo and me here. Milo, say hi. <laughs> Today we are going to do a little craft. And so, backstory. This is Milo's current container for toys. Right now there's only one toy in it. But this is Bone that he never plays with. Do you want it now? Because I because it's here. Let's see. Now now we'll put it. Nope. Oh, he just dropped it. <laughs> but um he's chewed on this corner. It's very boring. Ugly little box. And a while back I saw this very cute craft for a toy box for your dog's toys. And so today that is what we are going to make. What do you think about that, Milo? You're just gonna kiss me? Okay. And so, um, little disclaimer. I am sick for most of the filming of this video, including right now. So if I sound weird or uh, not very enthusiastic, that is why. Um, I was not sick for the shopping part, so everyone was safe. Um, but that is the first thing we have to do is go shopping. So let's get going. We're at my favorite craft store, Michael's, and I got my coupon. So let's get shopping. And of course, Milo's doing his good boy heel as usual. And the first item we need to get for this craft is a tote to put all his toys in and this one looks like a good size but it's pretty shallow so I think we'll look for something a little bigger so I'm thinking this one here looks like a good size so we're gonna look in here and it's nice and deep so and it's only 10 bucks which is a very fair price for this, so we're going to go ahead and throw it in the cart. So next thing we have to do is pick our letters, and I'm going to get these. They're $2 each, and they're wood, so they'll match the crate. And I kind of just picked these ones because they were the only ones that had um, every letter I needed. All the other ones were missing like an M or an O, so... And I, I like the look of them, so here they are on the box. So we are ready to head on to the last and final item, which is spray paint. I was going to do craft paint, but I figured it'd take forever to dry, it might be a little more prone to chipping, and I just thought it'd be way more easy to do this. Right, Milo? <laughs> and so I got to choose a color. I was originally thinking like nice blue, but oh, I love all these like shiny colors. They always distract me. So I was originally thinking like a blue or a green, but after looking at Milo's vest, uh, the choice became obvious. We need to get a red and make this box red to match his vest. Um, let's see, this is apple red. Looks nice and vibrant. So, I think I just need one can. We're going to take a gamble and just go with one. I usually like to get two, but... Let's see, does it say? How much? Oh, people have been testing their paints. Very beautiful, beautiful work. Okay, so I got my one can of spray paint, my wood box, and my wooden letters, and we are ready to head out. I've uh, checked out, use my coupon, use some rewards, and we can get started. Head home and do this. Okay, so uh, let's get painting. We got some cat friends checking out our work. So we just have to shake this. Here's the ball, and I just have to shake that for a minute. 
So you guys can just check out the cats, the shaky cats, because my hand is moving. And there we have it. So I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and paint the inside first, and then we'll flip it over and paint the outside. That way if there's any um, overlapping of the paints, the inside look, might look a little funky, but there'll be toys in there to cover it up. And before I start spraying, I just need to figure out how I'm gonna deter these kitties. Maisie, get away. I'm guessing once I start spraying this, they're gonna freak out. Let's see how it sprays. Oh. Oh, interesting. Maisie, move. <laughs> Maisie is literally in the line of fire. She does not care. Do you mind, sweetheart? Thank you. Oh. Oh, is she gonna, you're gonna get go. <laughs> go to the porch. Go get your, go get some food. Do something other than stand here. Oh, look how nice that is. Not sure how often I have to shake it. So I'm gonna just keep shaking it every few minutes, seconds, whatever feels good. And there we go. Now we just have to let it dry and then we can do the outside. All right, I'm gonna go finish painting the outside of this crate, but it is dark out, so you will not be seeing it until it is finished. Okay, so now we're going to get started on painting the letters. And someone thought it was a smart idea to staple the tags to these instead of just having a sticky label. So now we have to use this guy to get these off. So let's do that real quick. Because they stapled it, we have an indent here, so this will have to be the front of our letters. Um, I guess I'll start by painting my backs, because even though you're not going to see them, you might see them from the other side of the crate, and I don't want people to know they're not painted. So we're just going to start with the backwards name. And we have our supplies here, which is just some um, acrylic black craft paint. I didn't pull out the spray paint for this since it's a smaller project. And then we just need our paint holder and a nice big brush. So let's get painting. So let's get our paint. That's more than enough. Probably be able to put some back. And Let's get painting. I'm probably going to fast forward this part. So I have nothing to say to you guys now. <laughs> So there's the first coat. Um, since it's black, we probably will only have to do one coat, but we'll flip this over and do the other side. Okay, so now that this side is dry, we can go ahead and get our letters up. First, I'm going to paint the edges before I flip the letter over. And after we finish the sides, we'll just 
do the backs and it'll just be repeat of the first process. So we're coming to the end here and everything is covered. So we're ready to let those dry and move on. Okay, so I finished painting the box. I had to do a little bit of touch up. Um, and now we're ready to adhere the letters to the box. I'm going to use the line of this second panel to line up the letters so that I can make sure they're all straight. So, and then I'm kind of just using my thumbs here to make sure everything is centered on the box. It's not going to be centered this way, but it will be centered this way. And I'm just kind of eyeing it because I don't, it doesn't need to be 100%. And I think I'm going to start with the O and go this way for gluing them down just so I'm not um, bumping the other letters as I go as much. So let's get my glue guns ready to go. And I'm actually going to um, take it off frame to glue it or kind of hold it over here because I don't want to get any excess glue on the box. And I'm going to go as quick as I can because I don't want it to dry before I can get it back down. So there I kind of got a circle. Oops, definitely just put too much there. So once this O is in place, we can move on to the rest of our letters. Now we're just going to let all of this dry real quick and then we'll get rid of all the little like strings and that sort of thing. So a little bit of wood just came up right here so now we have an exposed part. I don't want to risk spray painting it now that my letters are glued because I don't want to get any red on the letters. So I'm just going to use some red craft smart paint and hope that it is close enough of a match that it goes good and if not I will have to go ahead and go with the spray paint. Just gotta get some of this paint out of here. It looks like this guy's ready to get thrown away after this. So oh yeah this is Definitely the same color. And I'll probably do one more coat, but other than that, it's perfect. So now that the box is done, we just have to fill it up with all Milo's toys. Milo, can I have this toy you're running with? Oh, when it's big enough, I can actually lay these down. It was Kongs. Little witch's broom. And his bone. And as you can see, this is a really big box. We have tons of room for more toys. Uh, this is one of his favorite toys. He's eating off the ends. Um, I couldn't find a couple of his toys, but if I do find them, there's plenty of room for them. Okay, so we have our finished box with all of his toys. Do you want a toy meal? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here. Here you go. <laughs> so, um, very excited how it turned out. Um, 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, week, whatever. And goodbye! Say goodbye! It is I, Milo. This is my mom's voice. But you are very fooled that this is me, Milo. Is this not the best outro ever? It's okay. You can be jealous.